Derek, I got to begin with, how did they approach you for this role? Um, they sent in a telegraph air balloon. No, I'm just kidding. Um, hairspray, what? Yes, right, hairspray, do you want to do it? Um, no, they, just, just a phone call. I just called up and said, hey, you know, uh, are, are you, would you like to be part of the Hairspray Live and uh, the Corny Collins role? And um, yeah, for me, honestly, it was kind of a, a no-brainer. I mean, it's such a great show. It's a great, you know, company, great producers, and and, um, and yeah. So I, I, I said yes immediately. Outline the role, please. Well, Porter Collins. I mean, he's the host of the, you know, the show, and it's it's kind of a, all kind of that's sort of like the the, the center of right. of where it all kind of goes down. But saying that, uh, it's a uh, it's a very relevant story, you know, about you know integration, and um, it's kind of based on a true story. And then, unfortunately, that gentleman's show actually got canceled because of it. But this one, you know, luckily has a happy ending. But and what's interesting about this whole process that NBC has done so well, you're kind of doing a film, you're kind of doing Broadway, you're kind of doing both all at once, and oh, it's yeah. live. What does that conjure up in, in, in you as a performer? Well, I mean, you know, when you do theater, there's definitely a different, you know, a uh, an energy, if you will, you know, on in, on the stage, where you get to project and be a little bit more out there. And there's still a theater aspect to it, but it's also on television. So it's kind of meeting in the middle a little bit, you know, of, of like film and theater, of it, the way you want to sort of uh, perform, I suppose. So, Final question. Yeah. Biggest challenge for you? The biggest challenge. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just excited, I guess. I don't know. I'm excited. There's not a, the, the, the meter's not going to rise on you. You're just going to be I'm just, yeah. smooth no, and ready no, no, to go. No, 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 no. For me, the, 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 what I'm excited about is being around such amazing performers because they just, they're, they're just going to elevate. You know, they're going to elevate me as a performer and elevate everybody around them. And so, and we're going to elevate each other. And I think that that's what I'm excited about. Continued success. Thank Derek, you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, Congratulations. Thank you. Tell me what this is like. Oh, surreal! Absolutely surreal. I mean, I hadn't done I hadn't done any shows um, outside of college, so this is my first like major audition. I went to an open call actually in New York. Over 1,300 girls were there, and I was 3:44 in line. <laughs> And so I went in just thinking, okay, I want to get some experience. This is my first audition. I mean, of course, it'd be amazing if I got the lead role, Tracy. But um, I just went in there with with not too many nerves, and I came out four like four weeks later with the role. So congratulations! Living the dream. Yeah. Congratulations. What are you? What are your apprehensions, Annie? Well, I'm just excited to work with this amazing cast that I've looked up to for so long. Every day they're announcing someone new um, who's just incredible. And yesterday we had the first table read, and um, I was sitting in between Harvey Firestein and Ariana Grande. <laughs> and Harvey Firestein is actually playing my mom, Edna. He won a Tony for the role um, on Broadway. And uh, Ariana was sitting to my left, and she just held my hand during the table read, and I was freaking out. How many times had you seen the show, or had you seen the show? Yeah, no, I hadn't seen the show before. I, I'd seen the movie a couple of times, but um, since I lived out in Texas, I couldn't just fly to New York whenever I wanted to to go see the show. But So I really wish that something like this on national television would have been around when I was a kid so I could see Broadway on TV, which is exactly what's happening. So We're in Texas. We're in Texas, Houston. Houston, Texas. So what are they saying back in Houston? They don't know what to expect. They're freaking out, and my parents are freaking out. And my mom, she works um, in HR at NASA, and my dad is—he uh, works at a hospital. So I don't have any performers really in my family. So this is all new to everyone, including me. You're going to do most of the shooting, or all the shooting, here or New York? Yeah, no, we have rehearsals from October through December, and then on December 7th, it's completely live, so there are no... It's here. Here. It's going to be in, done here. Sometimes they do it in New York. It's going to all be done yeah. here in Los Angeles. All in Los Angeles. How yeah. scared are you? I'm not too scared, actually, that, which kind of makes me scared that I'm not nervous at all. You know you're going to get that question from everybody infinitum now, because it'll be live, and I, I, I just can see from your attitude... You're going to sail through and have a ball. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm already having a ball. <laughs> That's fantastic. And, and, and onward, and as they say, onward from here. Thank you so much. We're going to look forward to seeing you on Hairspray. Thank live you. Live on NBC. December 7th. Thank you. Thank you.